Hi guys, I wanted to share with you one brilliant, beautiful study that I was shown many years ago by coach of national team, Ukrainian team, Alexander Sulipa. He, he gave this puzzle to our team and uh, he gave it to me and other grandmasters from Lviv. And uh, uh, during my road uh, home, um, I managed to solve it and I immediately messaged him like there's the solution because it was so brilliant and beautiful and unexpected that, uh, uh, you know, the artist in me was like giving kudos. Also, it is an example where the engine still cannot get it while a GM can. I am or even if I give you good advice and if you follow it maybe you can solve it yourself so I encourage you at least to try move some pieces around and try to find the best line for white in this position so clearly this is a study white is one piece down pieces are in irregular spots um, I, you can the lesson from this one is this is an advice about calculation in general I found it very typical that if my opponent has the only move to play it is a sign a signal that his position is a bad one and maybe you should dig deeper right so in one of my previous videos I showed an example of uh, Alex Ipatov beating me with white uh, where the engine cannot see the combination although it's quite logical um, because on every move I had the only one response it makes sense to dig deeper which is not what engines do they don't have for some reason that algorithm if if the only move saves the game or wins the game maybe you should you should look later maybe there's some brilliance that you're missing so as you can see I'm running the engine here just to prove a point that the engine cannot see it I've been running it for quite some time depth 32 stockfish 9 uh, I'm using half the power of my computer to record this video so I'm not sure if there's a point of uh, discussing what the engine is suggesting so I do encourage you to stop the video and um, try to move the pieces to understand this position a little better um, Secondly, I don't know who is the author of this puzzle, so maybe you can help me figure out who came up with this brilliancy. So, let's see what is going on here. I'm going to turn off the engine for a moment, uh, because it doesn't help at all. So, what do we see in this position? Uh, if you remember, the engine says you should just promote the queen, so this is the first move to consider. Promotion, fork, king moves, capture capture white is three pawns down uh, probably lost well this pawn would fall but black has two extra pawns and uh, eventually black should win this one so le let's us call this like a backup plan let's see what else we got because we almost promoted a pawn and the only thing saving black is this fork so let's see what we can do about it we have some checks available there's bishop c2 check and knight f6 let's see bishop c2 check clearly the king cannot go there the queen will promote with a check king g7 we run out of checks and uh, the only thing that makes sense here is to promote the queen by the way quiet moves like knight e5 or other moves do not work because black always have bishop a5 to stop the pawn so and we would be one piece down so bishop c2 we can reject relatively quickly so let's see what happens next now let's let's calculate Wait, knight, knight f6, f6. Let's, let's see knight, knight f6 i'm gonna move my face a little bit down all right knight f6 check what do we got there's uh, king g6 and king g7 king h8 uh, runs into queen promotion right so black has two moves let's see king g6 what happens now this is the problem now we can give bishop another check bishop h5 and we have taken the vital square from the knight and then we promote the queen and we win right so if king takes on f6 we even promote with a check if king goes to f5 we also promote and there's no fork on f7 that's relatively clear so king g6 is impossible so black has to go king g7 right okay only move for black that's a good sign 
let's dig deeper again if we promote the queen knight f7 we can try and one more check there were a check from here and check from there king e8 doesn't make sense it blocks the eighth rank black can go king h8 or f8 and that's it knight f7 fork if white makes a waiting move there's always bishop a5 so it makes sense to consider knight h5 what happens there knight h5 check so where does this king go it has many squares right but again he cannot go to the back rank so removing 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 he cannot go to h7 because after bishop c2 check it is forced to go uh, these squares sorry are taken white is winning king has to go to h8 and we promote with a check and win king cannot go to f7 because the knight needs that square right so king has to go to g6 so it makes sense to dig deeper king g6 what else we got we got knight f4 check and bishop c2 check uh, knight f4 is logical i do not remember what is happening after knight f4 probably king f5 probably king f5 we have one more check here and king runs to g4 and uh, f7 square is still available so let's consider bishop c2 check we do lose the knight, but luckily that's the only move. The king cannot go there, cannot go there because of the bishop, cannot go there because knight needs that square, and that knight cannot give up, the pawn will promote, right? So king h5, another only move, good signal. We put the queen to a side of the board. It seems like, well, that's it, what do we got? But now hopefully you would realize this king is sort of doesn't have too many squares to go. So it makes sense to keep digging, promoting the queen only move for black knight f7 check and now we run with the king to build a cage for that one king e6 knight d8 and king f5 if you get to here you should get excited because the king is almost checkmated it cannot move our king cannot receive check the only move for black to not be checkmated literally on next move is e2 let's keep digging e2 we need to move the bishop somewhere to get to that guy we can access him from this diagonal or from that diagonal. Uh, bishop a4, there's a move, but there's always knight c7 stopping him. Oh no, bishop a4, sorry, my bad. Promoting the uh, bishop a4, it's queen promotion, and queen takes over the square. So, but we can go to e4. Bishop f3 mate, again, only move knight promotion. Okay, already three knights, let's keep digging. But for now, I remember when I calculate this one, I cannot create any immediate threat here. Uh, and there's no place to move the bishop, so usually you're inclined to give up on it. Yeah, I, there's no place to move the bishop to create mate in one threat. This is where I was wrong. Uh, eventually, I figured that out. Bishop d5 surprising quiet move as the bishop how can you do that you're three pieces three pieces and two pawns down and you didn't create a single threat with bishop d5 but if it if you look closer there is a threat first of all this knight cannot move this knight cannot move they have to guard these two squares respectively the king the pawn doesn't move white has created a threat of bishop to c4 followed by bishop to e2 if it was white to move let's assume for a second bishop c4 and there's no defense from bishop to e2 no defense whatsoever knight f3 i'm just pinning that knight and taking it on next move so there is a threat of mating if he moves what can black do surprisingly enough black cannot get rid of my king because these two knights cannot move the selected ones knight from a6 can move but it cannot reach my king in two moves if the knight moves to c7 bishop c4 no check available and you cannot stop bishop e2 so what should black do c4 just helps so the only thing black can do is c2 let's keep digging bishop to c4 threatening here the only move okay give up the knight but it doesn't help promoting another knight i hope you can feel the brilliancy coming up promoting another knight that's beautiful let's keep digging because that's the only move where do we move the bishop there's literally a few squares available we go to b5 creating this threat 
Again, no checks available for the king because the knights are placed on dark square and the one on white square is really far away. So how can black stop bishop to e8? Knight f7 doesn't stop, I just pin and take. The only move for black is knight c7, another knight on black square, and now white goes bishop to a4, and that's it. And that is it, my, my friends. After bishop to a4, mate in three is coming. No knight can help. Bishop and pawn are useless. Nobody can stop bishop to d1. Any move is a knight, I go bishop. The only thing black can do is just give up one knight and then another one or there, and I take them. So knights from above cannot help from bishop d1. Bishop cannot help. All these pieces up there cannot help. Only knights below can help, but uh, they cannot protect each other. Knight e2 or knight f3, I'm just keep, keep going. Just keep going. And that's mate to fall. So now let's see what the engine has to say about my variations. I'm going to turn back on again. So piece of advice. If your opponent has only one move to not lose, keep calculating deeper. In this case, this is of course an exaggeration. This is how many moves, like 10 moves with quiet moves in the middle, uh, many moves ahead, 11 moves ahead. Uh, really difficult, really difficult. But generally the rule is very useful. Only moves for your opponent or for yourself. In any case, you have to dig deeper. It means your position is a bad one. Keep looking. Or your position is a good one if your opponent is the one with only moves. So let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the best move, knight f6. The engine agrees, king g7 only move. You can see the evaluation, hopefully. All right, king g6, king g7, sorry, king g6, bishop h5. By the way, king g6, he would say later that that's the best move. Actually, bishop h5 and bishop c2 equally good. Bishop h5, king takes promotion. Mate in nine, okay, I did not know that. All right, so king g7 it is. Knight, computer still thinks white is losing, completely losing, like minus five. Knight h5, king g6, another only move. So I'm just helping the engine figure it out. King g6, come on, nah, still needs help. Still need knight f4, the best move. Yeah, knight f4, my variation was correct. King f5, bishop c2, king g4, that's it. But after bishop c2, another only move for black, king takes h5. Now the engine still cannot see. Okay, come on engine, you can do it. Minus 13, you would normally just say, oh, that's, that's crushing. In fact, it's mate in less than 10 moves, I think. Oh, finally, if, if, if black goes for it. Finally, the engine saw. D8 queen, and now knight f7 is a mistake. Black has to just escape with the king, and white should be winning eventually. The relation is is pretty high. I didn't analyze. Yeah, the best move is king g4 and just uh, win the g3 pawn and hope for some sort of fortress, but I don't buy it. White would win on white squares. So king knight f7, king e6. Now the engine can see that after this, it is mate in 10. Let's take a closer look. e2 only move, bishop e4, e1 knight only move. And this is amazing quiet move, bishop d5. I've never seen anything like that. White's bishop is just dominating c2, bishop to c4, again knight promotion, and now another move, bishop b5. And actually, it one uh, black can just spend one more move on one extra move, knight c6, to delay, to delay mate just for one move. Uh, just one move L later, white would win. Bishop takes knight c6, now bishop to a4. So this is a brilliancy. This is a brilliant puzzle. Please help me find the author. I don't know who it is, but I really enjoyed solving it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Like, share and subscribe if you wish. Please bear in mind this advice. Only moves for your opponent, keep calculating. And that's actually a good advice for solving puzzles in general. But even for a real game, only moves, that's a sign that the position is troubling keep digging, there could be unexpected move that you, your opponent or the engine is, is not seeing. Keep digging and use your mind instead of just following the engine. If you were just to follow the engine in this position, I waited till depths, what, like 31 or 32, right? And it was giving huge advantage for black. You would normally think that black is winning. 
Of course, this sort of position will not happen in real game. But my point is, doubt the engine, although they are extraordinarily strong, but please still doubt their evaluation. Try to, like, at least ask questions. What happens in that one? Only move, keep calculating. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little longer than I expected, but I hope it was worth it. Take care. See you in a week. Bye-bye.